Kelly Chambers, you going to Wembley? No. <laughs> Why not? Um, I'm actually really disappointed, but we've actually got a home fixture on that date. Oh, you're playing on, yeah, on that Yeah, we're day. at home. Yeah, to Yeovil. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, you're busy then. That's, that's Very will, busy. Will you be uh, obviously keeping... What time do you kick off? Three o'clock? Uh, six. Oh, so it's actually more or less the same time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> will you be getting updates or is it just focus on the job? Uh, there'll be updates coming in, definitely. Uh, uh, all the girls <laughs> Reading fans? Um, to be fair, we have quite a lot of players that travel. Um, we've got a number of players that travel from... Uh, Cardiff Way, another one from Colchester, one from Birmingham, um, but there is a group of them that are from from here, born in Reading, the likes of Fran, Harriet Scott, people like that, uh, that have come through the youth ranks and have carried on. So um, yeah, there's a few in there. Okay, now I'm interested about the coaching side of things. You know, I've done some of my badges, um, and it is tough. You know, they they are never ending. They do seem to go on and on and yeah. on and on. But <laughs> Hey ho, you do need them, and and of course, you, you know they're fantastic experience. And you go on, uh, you know, away for two weeks, and, and you meet some wonderful players or yeah, ex-players definitely. and coaches, and, and and you pick up ideas. Would you be confident, Kelly? Really odd question. If Steve Clark said, "This is Kelly Chambers, lad. She manages the Reading FC ladies' side." Kelly, go and put a session on for me. Um, we, yeah, just see coaching as coaching. Whoever I'm coaching, I, I'll co- coach them the same. Um, obviously, with the younger ones, I'll have a little bit more fun with them. But yeah, yeah I'm, I'm comfortable. You, you wouldn't be phased, like you know, you know, Kelly's going to take this morning and and just crack on and just put yeah, on the yeah. keyboard session. No, or... I'm fine with all of that. Okay, and, <laughs> and and you know, you're obviously a decent coach, a very good coach, but you are the manager. Now, you were telling me that there is a female manager in Scotland actually manages a men's professional football team. Yeah, um, she was actually Arsenal's manager, Arsenal ladies manager uh, last season, Shelley Kerr, but she moved back home, back to Scotland, and um, she's now coaching a, a men's team up up there. Do you think it's a matter of time before, you know, maybe a League Two side or a League One side? Um, Championship, Premier League? Do I'm you not think t- I'm happen? not too sure. I'm not too sure. It's. Um, I think it's more, I think, I'm not sure how men perceive women as coaches and things like that. So, um, but the men's game is completely different to the women's game. Um, oh, that's interesting. And, uh, Why? The pace of it, um, obviously coaching and the way you want to coach and the way you want to play is all the same. But um, yeah, just um, probably the the way that the men are and things like that. I I honestly couldn't say whether it would happen or not. Do you get asked the question often that would the women's side be a men's side? Um, yeah, we always get asked. Um, we, we actually play, um, a men's team pre-season. Very rarely do we play, especially th- this pre-season, we've played a, quite a few, um, a bunch of lads from the, from the club that are coaches. Um, and they all get, they all come out and play against us just because we know that the tempo that they would play at will be quicker than any women's team. And you can see that with now with Fran's development and where she's training with the lads, um, every day. Um, the pace of her game's a lot quicker. She's a lot stronger. Um, so it's definitely beneficial. How did um, you get but, on in that game? Um, when we first did it, we got battered. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, now now we're um, now we've actually fitness levels are up. Everything else, we're actually competing with them now. Um, we played the under 15s, read in under 15s once, but again. The pace of their game is so much quicker than the female game. And 1v1s, women have got no chance against men. It's, it's interesting you saying that because, you know, you know the man's, men's game and, and you obviously know the, the women's game inside out. What about the physical side of things? You know, because, you know, if, dare I say, Alex Pierce yep. went, went up with Frank Kirby for a header... Then she probably just run for his legs, but yeah, um, possibly. Yeah. You know, but the, I mean, but it's no, never, you're right. You, you can never. It's never going to happen. That the same physical strength, is it? No, definitely not. And just um, just the biomechanics of women compared to men is is completely different. Um, like I said, one v ones, a man will just manipulate the ball how they want to manipulate it and, and move quickly. Where females don't have that uh, stature about them. Interests? What do you enjoy doing when you get time? You don't seem like you've got too much time to relax, but uh, you're always busy <laughs> coaching or playing or whatever it is. How do you how do you relax? What, you, what other interests away from football? It's more, I don't really have any interest away from football. Anyone you talk to, um, if you speak about me, I'm always working, whether it's general stuff um, or just doing some research on stuff. But I've actually had a stressful couple of weeks because I'm buying a house right now. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's, yeah, it's very stressful. Um, so I haven't actually had any ba- uh, downtime in the last month or two <laughs> so, you, so you don't really sort of play other sports no Watch no other it's sports? literally just just football <laughs> i'm football <Soaps>. mad <laughs> no. i try to but again i'm work 
uh, start at nine in the morning and then some nights I don't finish till half ten, quarter to eleven what at do night. What you do, Kelly? Um, if, if you can say. Yeah, no, I still work at the club full time. Um, we run a female academy at the John Medatesky Academy School. Um, we have 16 to 19 year olds training full time alongside studying their A-levels and BTEC. So I oversee that with one of our other coaches um, alongside running the female, the, the first team as well. So you are always in a tracksuit and trainers, that yes. sort of thing. So you, you Apart know, from the weekend, I try my best today. to get out of it. <laughs> Absolutely. It's funny you should say that the, the John Medeski Academy, because you, you were talking earlier about how much money... You know, the girls can earn about 15 grand yeah, yeah. a year. Now, I was talking to Gary Johnson, who is uh, the chairman of the Reading Rockets Basketball Club. Yeah. And a lot of those lads go to the uh, academy, don't they, and do coaching and, and they get uh, their digs and, and the cars provided, that sort of thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's Very really similar. good. Yeah. Um, like I said, we've always wanted to develop our youngsters and bridge the gap between 16 year olds to seniors. Um, and to do that, we thought, why not just start up uh, an academy? And um, and that's where we we started that up with the um, John Medeski Academy. And um, Wednesday, they actually won the um, National Schools Cup final. So that was nice. Fantastic. It was really good. Oh, so. good. Congratulations. Did, did you get out to watch football? we got a massive game going at the Soccer AM Stadium this afternoon. Basingstoke, they're flying high in the conference south a win and they could go top, Jason Bristow's men. But, uh, you know, Basingstoke have got Wilson. Did you get out and, and, and watch semi-pro non-league football? Um, not much anymore. No. I used to when my partner was playing. But, um, yeah, we literally... I think Saturdays are usually my only day, unless we have a game on a Saturday, our home games on Saturday evening. So I'll be preparing for that usually on a Saturday. So I usually have a Saturday or a Sunday that's free, which I usually just chill out and sit on the sofa. <laughs> did you watch England last night? Yes, I did. What did you make of it? 4-0, comfortable, always going to be a comfortable win. Yeah, it? it was comfortable. I just, I'm just i just impressed the way that they're trying to play now. Um, it's a lot quicker. Um, they move a lot. The ball is a lot more intricate, um, and the players that we have now with Sterling, Welbeck, people like that, that can just cause problems all over the pitch. When you're talking, you know, about pace, yeah, you know, in the modern day, in particularly in the men's game. I mean, Raheem Sterling, you know, Welbeck, Rooney, these people, like pace and abundance, haven't they? I mean, it is so fast now, a game of football. Yeah, definitely, and and it's coming more and more into the women's game as well. And if you look at my squad um, with the first team. Um, it's full of pace all over the pitch and I think that's one of the biggest things in the game now and you need to be able to compete at that pace and I want our players to play at that pace so um, yeah speed is um, a big asset to, to what clubs. are you doing next weekend it's not a date I'm not asking you out what are you doing next weekend next weekend what's next weekend you can Easter. Relax. Easter weekend you could go to Lambourne you could go to the. To I'm the actually away of... with the Wales senior team. Oh, are you? <laughs> yeah. Are you? Okay, we well, can't go. <laughs> no. So maybe I'll be going. Kelly can't go.